as promised on my previous video, here it is. Another Blocks Fruits Guide video. Gamer Gnome, no anime fighting simulator video today. Don't worry guys, I will post two videos today. One from Blocks Fruits and one from Anime Fighting Simulator. Where the actor slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. Hello. Gamer Gnome is back. So for today's Blocks Fruits video, I am going to show you a guide on how to reach V2 race fast. You know what is race? What is V2? So race is randomly generated upon joining the first time in the game. So you can uh, have a random race from humans, fishmans, skypians, or mink. I don't know if there's a new race, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't know, I'm not aware, I just played the game today. Gamer Nom, what if I don't want the race that I have? You can change it by buying it for Robux, 90 Robux, or talking to this, Norm. So Norm is located in the cafe. He will ask for 3,000 fragments. Uh, I was able to like uh, grind fragments before I stopped playing this game. The previous update, I think I have like 80,000 fragments. Hmm, I'm not so sure, let's check it out. Okay, so okay, we change our race to human. Because a while ago, I think we have V3 Skypian. Oh, yeah, we have 88,490 fragments. We're still level 1450. If I got lots of views from this video, I will play this game again. <laughs> but still, focus on Anime Fighting Simulator. So now, we need to go to Green Zone and talk to this guy, the Alchemist. Just every time you change your race, you need to do this again. I think this is a very good guide in order to find the flowers. Again guys, to reach V2 race, you need to find the three flowers. There you go. The yellow flower, the red flower, and the blue flower. So this guide will focus on finding them. So from the cafe, so since it's night time, you can only find the blue flower. When it's daytime, we can find the red flower, but it's night time, so let's focus on that. From the port, when you're facing the sea, go right. When you're facing the kingdom, go left. Again, we are going to one of the locations of the blue flower. And you can only find the blue flower at night. Okay. Oh, faster, it's almost morning. Oh, I think we missed it. But guys, it's not sh always sure that blue flower will spawn here. That's why there are other locations. Here you go. This is the area where we will find the blue flower. Okay. Now, since it's daytime, let's just focus on getting the red flower and maybe the yellow flower. One at a time. Let's focus on the red one. Back to the green zone. First area, this one. From the bridge, this rock, okay? This one. In front of you, there's a high chance that the red flower will, will spawn there. Another area is this one. This rock, there you go, this area. The red flower also spawns here. If you're getting confused, this rock is near the boss on this island. There you go. Okay, so I think there's no red flower yet. Don't worry, we have still have two areas to look at. Gamer Nami told us that we're going to get the yellow flower. Okay. Guys, you can get the yellow flower on mobs. Any mob here. Just fight them, defeat them, and there is a chance that yellow flower will drop. Let's check it out. Okay, there you go guys. See that? Flower. Okay, what number is that? Three? Yeah, flower three. Let's show it to you. Flower three. Okay, there you go. The yellow flower. That's kind of lucky. We just killed two mobs. Hey, enough of that. Marine Lieutenant. Okay. So let's uh, let's move now towards the two other locations. So again from the cafe, guys, our starting point 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 
our starting point is the cafe, okay? From here, sometimes the red flower spawns here in this area. Make sure to check it. If you don't see it, go to Doflamingo's mansion. And the red flower spawns on the plant boxes. There you go. If you don't see it, go to Doflamingo's uh, bed. Is this is that his bed? I'm not sure. Gamernum, why are we doing this? We just need to get the the treasure chest. <laughs> Gives us like 5k gold, right? There you go, 5k. Now let's check the plant box again. Okay, there you go. Two flowers down, one to go. Last one is the blue flower, right? There you go, let's just get it. Okay, red flower. I think the flower is improved from the previous update. <laughs> I'm not that sure. So let's wait for night time. There you go. I fast forwarded that part. Now, time to look for the blue flower. Again, before we go to the island that we went a while ago, I'll show you another area. Actually, there are two more areas that you haven't seen. So this one is on Usopp's area if you're familiar with that character in One Piece. It spawns here in this island. Blue flower. Guys, if ever I'm wrong, just correct me, okay? I'm not perfect or what. I'm not that good at this game. But I'm sure that one of those flowers spawn there. Okay, next up, go to the island. There you go. Oops. Okay, there you go. Alright. <laughs> The blue flower. Okay, so before we go back to the alchemist, I'm going to show you one area where the blue flower spawns. Guys, this is one of the best areas for me because uh, you can find the blue flower here. There you go, and you can fight mobs here at the same time. There's a lot of mobs here, and easy. They're easy to kill. Okay, let's go back to the green zone and look for the alchemist. Okay. Oh, there's a. We don't need that, guys. We don't need that anymore, but thank you. Okay. Guys, once you give it to the alchemist, you need to pay him 500000 to proceed. Okay? So that would be it for this guide. Don't worry, guys. More Black Fruits videos. I hope that you learned something from this. Enjoy your new race, Vita Race. Again, this is GamerNome. AFS video later. Okay, guys? See you.